My name is Melena and I'm a third year student at the University of Toronto studying physiology and immunology. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make chromatography flowers. Chromatography is the separation of a mixture by passing a solution through a medium. In today's experiment we will be separating the colored inkin markers, which is the mixture, by putting it in water, the solution, and by passing it through the coffee filter, which is the medium. Here are the materials you will need to use for this experiment. Make sure to use a water-based instead of permanent marker because those will work the best in this experiment. The recommended brands are Mr. Sketch or Crayola. First, gather your materials and choose the marker you will be using. Next, take the coffee filter and draw a circle around the center, near where the ridged part meets the flat part. Fold the filter paper in half twice. Now get a shorter glass or container and fill it up with a little bit of water so that just the tip of the filter is in the water. You may need to use a paper clip to position the filter. Let it set for 20 to 30 minutes or until you see that the colors have traveled near the top of the paper. Now you should see the different colors that make up the marker ink on the coffee filter. If you'd like, you can try again with different colors. Which marker is made up of the most colors? That might be a good experiment to try. To create the chromatography flowers, you will have to first fold the coffee filter in half four times. Next, round out the edges using scissors. Finally, you can open up the coffee filter and make a stem by taping it to a pipe cleaner, pencil, or stick. Colors are made up of many different molecules of dye that mix together to create the single color that our eyes can see. In this experiment, using chromatography, you separated the different dye molecules in the marker ink so that our eyes can register all the colors that are mixed together to make the marker. The water-based markers are water-soluble and can dissolve and move with water. On the other hand, permanent markers are not water-soluble, but are actually alcohol-soluble, so they won't work for this experiment. As the water travels up the coffee filter, it carries the ink particles with it. Some molecules are carried further than others, so you can see that the colors separate. We are able to see the different colors because each dye is made up of different molecules. Some are heavier and some are lighter, that travel at different speeds as the water moves them up the paper. The heavier dyes will separate out first and move more slowly, while the lighter dyes keep moving faster up the paper, creating the tie-dye or kind of washed out effect. If you try this experiment with different markers, you will probably have noticed that black or brown markers can be separated into more colors than red or blue markers. Some colors are actually mixtures of a lot of different inks, while some are just one or two inks mixed together. So if you try with the black marker, that's probably made with many different colors, and so it will create more colors when you do this chromatography experiment than a primary color like yellow, red, or blue. In the real world, chromatography techniques are used in a lot of science labs, such as for food testing, vaccine development, and even crime scene investigation, because it allows researchers to break down different mixtures to get the specific substance they need. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye.